All right, guys, we are going to continue with chapter two. Uh, we're going to look at solving inequalities using addition and subtraction, as well as uh, multiplication and division. You'll see this is very similar to solving equations. So let's look at our first example here. So in our first example, we have um, x minus 6 is equal, or sorry, greater than or equal to um, negative 10. Make sure that we're comfortable with our symbols. We know this is a greater than or equal to symbol. So the way we solve a inequality is the same exact way that we go about solving an equation. We want to isolate that variable. So we want to get that x by itself and solve for the variable. So let's take a look. All we have to do to get x by itself here is take that 6 and add it to both sides. When I take that 6 and I add it to both sides, I'm going to get x is, make sure we know our symbols, greater than or equal to negative 10 plus 6 is negative 4. Graphing our solution here, create a number line. I usually put 0 on the number line. Negative 4 is going to live down here. Positive 4 would live down here. And let's go ahead and graph this. We know it's a greater than or equal to symbol, so we know we're going to have a closed circle. So we're going to have a closed circle at negative 4. And this represents greater than or equal to. So I'm going to be shading to my right. What does that mean? That means any value greater than or equal to negative 4 is a solution to our inequality. So two parts to our solution, part 1, part 2. We'll look at these examples in notes. Again, pretty, or sorry, in class, again, pretty straightforward using subtraction to solve it. We'll do one of them here, and then we'll do one in class. This time, just subtract the 8 in order to solve this equation. So I'm going to subtract my 8 from both sides. I'm going to get y is less than or equal to negative 3. And now we, stop, we go ahead and we graph this. Again, I always put 0 on here. Positive 3 would be here. Negative 3 would be here. Once again, I have a closed circle. So I'm going to have a closed circle at negative 3. And this time, it's less than or equal to, so I'm shading to my left. In B, which we'll look at in class, a little bit more challenging. Um, not too much. Just has the variable on the right-hand side on that one. Real-world example, again, we'll look at that one in class as well. Let's take a look at the error analysis here, see if we can figure out what's going on. Looks like they solved it correctly. But one key thing to think about, and a trick that a lot of you like to use, is you say, okay, I'm just going to look here. That's pointing to the left, and I'm going to shade to the left. That only works when your variable is on the left-hand side. So we always want to rewrite it with our variable on the left side. So this is really, and when we rewrite it with the variable on the left side, we have to flip that inequality symbol. So this is really x is greater than negative 3. So the problem here of what's wrong here is that our shading is going in the wrong direction. This should really be an open circle at negative 3, and we should be shading to the right. Because if we read what that says, that says negative 3 is less than x, which is the same thing as x is greater than negative 3. Okay, so make sure that you're comfortable with the shading and which way to shade these things. Continuing on, that's all for 2.2. In 2.3, we're solving inequalities using multiplication and division. So let's take a look at that. Follows the same exact idea as what we were doing, except there's one difference that we care about here. The key thing to think about or remember, and this is really important when we're dealing with multiplication and division, is when you multiply or divide by a negative, something happens to your inequality symbol. And the key thing that happens here is you must flip the inequality symbol. So make sure that you write that down. Only when you multiply or divide by a negative. So let's take a look at this first example here. In order to get that y by itself, we're going to multiply both sides by negative 3. Alarm bell should be ringing. We're multiplying by a negative here. So now I'm going to get negative 6 is, flip my inequality sign, greater than y. 
That's perfectly fine as a solution, okay? We can keep it like that. But again, like I said in our last example when we were looking at that error analysis, we really don't want to keep it with the variable on the, on the right side. So I'm actually going to do a double flip and rewrite this with my variable on the left side. When I change my variable to the left side, I need to flip it back so it ends up being y is less than negative 6. Now I can go ahead and I can graph my solution. I've got 0, which lives here. Positive 6 would be here. Negative 6 would be here. Open circle here because there's no line underneath. So I'm going to have an open circle at negative 6. And I'm going to shade to my left. An open circle means that negative 6 is not a solution. Just everything below negative 6 is a solution. Let's look at example number 2. We've got negative 6 times y, so in order to get that y by itself, I have to divide by negative 7. Dividing by a negative means flip the inequality symbol, so I'm going to get y is greater than or equal to a positive 5. Don't need to change it any, any other way because my variable's on the left-hand side. I can go straight to graphing this. Here's my number line. 0 lives over here. Negative 5 is down here. Positive 5 is over here close circle on here because we've got that equal to so five is a solution close circle shade to the right all right so key thing here pretty basic equations to solve just make sure that when you multiply or divide by a negative that you go ahead and you flip those inequality symbols more examples that we can take a look at in class as well as some real world examples here which we'll also take a look at in class. All right? So again, just to recap, solving inequalities, pretty basic, pretty similar to um, solving equations. Make sure you're comfortable with the open and the closed circles and the directions of your shading. And then the major thing to remember is when you're multiplying or dividing by a negative, make sure that you're flipping the inequality symbol. That's it for the video. See you in class, and we'll go through some more examples.